Welcome to another practice stroke lesson with me. And so we've worked on a lot of different aspects of strokes. And I have talked about different brushes besides the value pack brushes. And so a brush that I want to share with you today is an angle brush. When you're looking at this brush, we have a toe and a heel. And so as we're loading, we think about those steps as we're loading. So what I wanna do is share with you how I load this brush and just a few strokes that we can do with this brush. The, the one thing I wanna do is share with you that this makes really easy painting vines and different strokes with a leaf that maybe sometime might be easier than a flat brush for you. Thank you so much for sharing on our Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group on Facebook and sharing your practice sheets because that's awesome that everybody else can see how you're growing too. And, and um, I think you're gonna see yourself with their, their input too. They tell you some great aspects of how it helped them as they grew. So check that out and keep watching YouTube Relax and Paints because that you can take what you're learning here and go use it there. All right, so let's go down and look at the practice sheet. All right, so I'm gonna be on white today and we're going to, I dampen this brush. I've laid it on a paper towel, let's put it over here. Okay, and now I'm gonna load. I want this time the dark to be on the toe. So since these are too far apart, I can pick up and then side stroke the second color. So let me show you what I'm using. This brush and my set is a 5 8 I'm picking up citrus green on the heel and the toe is sap green. Citrus green and sap green. Okay, so you can use medium, but if you have enough paint, most of the time you don't need medium unless you're on a very dry surface. All right, so let me show you what's gonna happen with this. Is I'm gonna stand straight up and as I'm holding this brush straight up, I am not laying it down on the whole chisel. That's what some people do and then it makes it large. But what we wanna do um, is we want a thin line. So we're gonna to touch here and we're gonna just have a thin line coming down. All right, so let me get you in front so you can see better what I'm doing. All right, I'm putting my little finger to help me. So I'm gonna come off here and cross over. All right, I'm gonna go pick up more paint. I just go right here. And so I'm gonna go along the vine and cross over along the vine and cross over. And these little little bits of uh, tendrils that comes off of this, I like that look, all right? So that's how you do a vine and instead of a branch, some people have a very hard time touching and lifting. So if you have a flat brush, you would have the whole brush down and then try to lift. But what I'm telling you with this is we cut that off so all you're doing is going like this. Also, now I'm feeling a little dry, so I am gonna put a teeny bit of medium because I am on paper. This is floating medium. It's the fluff that's inside paint with no color in it, no pigment. So I can go right here and maybe just dip the tip. All right, so now, now I can come here and I can touch this edge, not the whole chisel. This is the chisel. I'm only going to touch this. So I can take my little finger and I can make the grass. All right, so you can tell I need a more medium. There we go. So practice some blades of grass. All right, then let's go and practice some of these leaves. All right, so I'm gonna pick up, now it's got a little bit of medium in it. Now here is the arrow for the leaf, all right? So what I'm gonna do is 
the heel is what's going to make the shape on the outside. You can't push. Don't try to push this tip. See, you can't push the tip and have control. That might look okay, but it really doesn't when you get going. Okay, so watch. I am laying my brush right on that line. I'm putting a little bit of pressure. And then I'm watching the outside edge of the heel, whatever color I have there. So let's start on this side because see, you still have paint on that side. I'm going to go right there. Oh, you can see I need more paint. There, that's way better. All right, and we're coming down to the tip. And then you just pull your stem in the middle. Now, what I want you to see um, is, we got a pop up here, let me get rid of it. What I want you to see is that when I, I, I can even, let's go back and do one stroke leaf. Okay, so we're gonna come and practice that some more. But let's start with a one stroke leaf and I'm going to put this here so we can see that I, how often I go in. All right, so I'm going to start at an angle and this is a crooked T, right? This is a regular T, right? So a crooked T means I'm starting at this angle. I'm putting pressure to get the leaf full and all I do is stand up. When I stand up, I get this perfect tip on the leaf. So let's do this again. I'm at a crooked, push down, get the pressure, and then release the bristles and that pops right back up. Okay, so there's different three sizes of these brushes. You can get those on onestroke.com, O-N-E-S-T-R-O-K-E.com. And these are a set of angle brushes, all right? So pressure, lift, pressure, lift. Okay, and every time it gets a really pretty tip on the leaf. Now what you don't wanna do is go pressure, lift, pressure, lift, pressure, slide to the point. Isn't that nice? Pressure, slide to the point. All right, so I'm gonna come in here one more time and show you that I can also do leaves and I'm putting pressure. I stand up and I take the edge of it around, around a rosebud maybe. You see that? Pressure and turn. You can also pressure for the no rose hip and then I pull, all right? So those are some to practice. I push down and I stand up. I'm gonna come around the rows and slide. Pressure, nope, I need more paint. Pressure and come around, okay? And then you just practice some pushing and sliding down. A smaller brush will help you do that too. Because I don't like this little bubble that came out there, so I can just go like this and pull it around. All right. Okay, so if I start at this angle again, remember that push down and stand up and then pull the stem in the middle. All right. So this just makes it easier when you're having a difficult time with your flat brush. So let me show you one more time. We're going to start here. Remember I said we can't push this very well. It's okay, but it's not going to look as good, okay? So I'm going to pull out here. I'm going to start here. And stand up. Let's practice this again over here. And it's easier to pull this towards yourself, okay? And then I'm gonna stand up and pull the stem in the middle. Okay, 
I think it's fighting because I've got a, a white background. Okay, so I'm going to wash this brush. Hear me? Raking it. I'm raking it against. Make sure you go watch how to clean your brushes. That's very important. Now, I want the toe of this brush to be white. And we're going to do a rosebud really quick and show you how to do layers. I'm just going to go beginning, a beginner little step here with this. And I can even put a teeny bit of green because it's all on the white. Okay. So you got two thirds up there. Now watch what happens. All right. I'm going to take a line here and a line there. And I'm going to go up and over with this this angle brush and the toes going to come up and over and come back up. So see, I didn't go down too far. See this? Lots of people come way down here. So I'm going to go up and over and then I'm going to do a U and then I come a little bit further out and do another U. And at this point, I can lean out here and come across because what's beautiful is that as I touch, lean, and come across, this is gone. So just this little nice little tip's gonna come across. And then I can come and lay it right there. And when I'm laying it here, look, I lean the white and then I come across. All right, I was off the screen, so let me do it again for you. All right, I can still fix this one, remember? I like to tell you that don't wipe it off, just pick up fresh paint. All right, so I'm gonna come right here and come all the way over and touch the side. Remember you had line to line. You're going up and over, over the hill, then you touch the same exact line and stroke a U. All right, can you see that? Stroke that U. All right. So let's go back over here and get a little bit larger. And you can just do a little bit, a second, a third one there, one, two, three. All right, so I'm gonna come back here before we go and get some leaves. I'm gonna come back over here and go up and over. Now watch this, I can start that line again and come up inside with a U. Let me just bring it down a little bit more. And I'm going to come way out here and go all the way to that side. So it looks like it spiraled. And I know we've done rosebuds before, but I want you to see this with an angle brush. Lean and come across. Lean and come across. Now watch this. I'm going to put another one and another one. Right under here, lay that flat chisel along there. You see how you get that nice little stroke. Now remember, each petal that lays out here leans the white, crosses across. So I'm up on the chisel, I'm leaning and lift. Get really close under there and lift. So watch this, I'm leaning the white out and then coming across. Lean it out, come across. And this angled brush just makes it easy for you to do that. So I can wipe this off and then pick up my sap and citrus. Sap green and citrus green. Oh, I didn't see it. I just wiped it off, but it's still got pink inside. All right, so what's really fun about that is sometimes you start seeing the pink in there. They're not showing up right now. Okay, but when I with a smaller, I'd use a smaller angle brush. You can come around. Okay, and then lean on the chisel and then come around. Lean and stand up. I'm going to do the rose nip and then pull. Now I switched on this one and I put 
the dark on the heel and the light on the toe. All right. So practice, practice, practice using an angle brush. Let's pull up right here so you can see really good. Those are what we're practicing today. There you go. Thank you so much. Practice and show me. I'd love to see it. Spend some time every day. Thank you.